What's going on? What's going on, too? All right. Here we go. About to start another day. I'm going to start this project right here, which is cleaning up this engine bay. Um, I bought some good old uh, oven cleaner. First, I'm going to dismantle this. I'm going to take this off. I'm going uh, <clears throat> to put the oven cleaner spread all over. <clears throat> I never used this method before, but um, a lot of people was saying uh, on live forums that uh, it works. So, so I'm going to use I'm going to use this easy off for the engine bay, and then I'm going to follow up with the semi gloss black once everything dry up. Um, these are the two products I'm going to use. To protect it. Get out the way. You always try to get in the camera. These are two products I'm gonna use here. I'm gonna spray everything down. I sealed all the um, air condition lines, air condition ports, so nothing uh, get in there. So just cleaning up all this around here, give it a nice little sheen. Um, uh, the frame itself, even though I'm gonna spray it with this uh, semi gloss. Uh, I got some pour 15 coming in the mail. Uh, I'm on pour 15 from the firewall back that way. Um, and my reasoning is because usually water don't get all the way up in the uh, engine bay unless you ride through a bunch of water. Usually all this is good. So I think I don't have to pour 15. The, um... The whole engine compartment. I think that's going to be fine. And plus, I don't feel like painting it with a brush. So, therefore, I'm going to just spray paint it. Uh, everything else underneath is going to be pour 15. Um, and I'm not going to use the oven cleaner underneath. I'm going to uh, use a uh, grinder. The oven cleaner is really just for all this caked up grease that's laying on the frame. And it's going to get all that caked up, all that stuff off. And then I'm going to spray it with a hose. And um, hopefully get it all off or get most of it off. But as you can see, it's, it's real solid in here. I just want to get on top of it. And I'm going to do the same thing for underneath um, the wheel well. Uh, the wheel wells, I think I am going to go ahead and pour 15 underneath the wheel wells. Because that, if it does get up there, it's going to get up underneath the wheel wells, not on top of the wheel wells. So I'm going to pour 15 underneath the wheel wells. The frame as much as I can and underneath the belly of the truck. So uh, this is going to be day one. I probably only going to get a chance to um, clean it down. And then tomorrow, once it's all dried off, I can spray the coat of um, the black semi-gloss on it. But uh, here we go. Something like. All right. This was uh, two coats of... Um, the oven cleaner, as you can see, man, it did a great job. Still wet. I'm going to cut it back on once it, everything dry. I'm going to let it dry for a day before I put the other coat on. I mean, it ate it all the way down. I mean, it even took the paint off of it, um, which is a good thing, bad thing. We'll see. But um, it cleaned up everything uh, rather nicely. I was going to get a pressure washer. But, you know, it's just another expense. I'm just a low budget, low budget build. So we're going to see how it is, how it go. But as you can see, yeah, you go all the way down to the frame. Now, what, what I'm going to do, end up doing is I'm going to get the grinder. Uh, not the grinder. I'm going to get a wire brush and just wire brush all this. All this uh, rust right here. I'm going to wire brush all that. I'm going to wire brush the frame right here. The whole frame right there. All that. And then I'm going to just uh, spray the coat right over top of it. Uh, again, I'm going to come back with the pour 15 and definitely paint this frame. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm wondering, should I wait and just paint the frame first pour 15 the frame first or could i just spray a coat i don't want to seal no moisture in um that the pour 15 starts to flake or whatever but um i'm definitely gonna let it sit i'm gonna let it dry i'm thinking about even turning the heater on 
so that it dries the floor up nice and nice and uh, dry because I think this is going to take a couple days. The highest we're supposed to get is like 70. So I think tomorrow I might turn the heater on and just let the heater blast. That way it's going to dry everything up. Um, I want to get in here tomorrow uh, while this is still dry out. Like I said, I want to make sure all the standing water, as you can see, is dried up out of there. Um, tomorrow, though, I want to get in here tomorrow and drop this bumper, drop the hitch. Um, and drop the hitch so therefore um, I can get to the gas tank because I believe the straps are behind the gas tank from my knowledge you gotta drop this this plate back and then you're gonna have access to the gas tank straps so I'm gonna try to do that uh, tomorrow because I want to see exactly what I need to order for the fuel system uh, as you can see that's the first cool I'm gonna just black it out. You know what I mean? So that's the first coat. I'm gonna put at least uh, one more coat over the whole thing. You know what I mean, just make it look good. It ain't again. This ain't no showpiece. Just to uh, make it look nice. You know what I mean? So, but I do plan on painting the block, whatever engine I get. I'm gonna paint on so this black and make it pop a little bit more. Um. Hmm. It's already 10, 10 times better than what it was. Get a whole view. All right, y'all, that's what we got. That's about two cans of it. It's still a little shiny because it hasn't flashed over yet. I just got finished with the second can. Um, again, this ain't no showpiece. So, it's not going to look pristine. But, uh, it's going to get me around. I see a few little runs and stuff like this. But, not major. I got to do the best I could. A couple spots that I got to, like, maybe spray another coat. That is that. That's only one coat on that. That's why I look like that. But as you can see, I got the pretty much the whole front. Don't worry about this. I'm taking this little flap off. As you can see, it's still sticky. But uh, it look 100% better than what it looked like before. Originally, it was like a bluish. If you look in the, um, the last video, it was like a bluish black. But now it's all one color. Let me step back, show you all the view. A lot better, a lot better, a lot better. The bay look a lot better. When I get the motor, I'm definitely gonna paint the more motor like an orange, um, the Chevy orange. So it's gonna definitely make the motor pop out a little bit more. Um, when I when the poor 15 come in, uh, I'm gonna dedicate like a whole day or a whole two days just to pour 15 a whole under. But I know I gotta get to this fuel. I gotta drop this tank because it's leaking everywhere, man. As 
in the city. Um, it's leaking, so I gotta get to this fuel tank. So that's, I think that's the next thing I wanna do is drop the fuel tank, like I said. And then I'm gonna dedicate like a whole two days just to pour 15 in the whole undercarriage um, of the car. And like I said, I'm gonna definitely hit some pour 15 up on these rails. But um, all in all, it came out pretty good. A lot of grease up. Nice little shine. I didn't want to take the sticker off, you know what I mean? I kept it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to polish it up, you know what I mean? Make it look as best as I possibly can. But uh, that's the finished product. Two cans. Let it flash over, and uh, that's a wrap for the day. I still got to let this floor dry. It's still wet. So I'm going to let the floor dry, and I'm going to come back in here and start working on the um, gas tank. All right, YouTube. I'll highlight y'all. Wow.